be falling his law any type of damn way. <laughs> and do. Would they be falling? You got to be around a monster to understand a monster. And for a monster to understand that you understand monsters. They just, they just really making shit up. They really truly making shit up. God, God, God. Hey y'all, so I had a video that I made earlier today, but it seemed, it's taking too long to edit. Well, not taking too long, it's a lot of footage to edit. So it'll be up tomorrow. Um, but in in the in the October feeling of things, I watched the movie Men. I don't know if y'all watched that movie, but that was like one of the first movies that I ever watched that I I could not I didn't understand the premise of it at all. I mean, it's spoiler alert. If anybody hasn't seen me, you can click off now. I do recommend watching it. It's a creepy movie, but that's it. It's It's been a while since I watched a movie that, in my opinion, didn't really have a plot. It was just literally a weird-ass movie. The whole movie was weird. It was, okay, the beginning part when her husband committed suicide that was crazy it was crazy that they showed the body that was crazy when she went to the house all that creepy shit started happening it was just like what the fuck is going on like what the fuck is really going on everything was just weird it wasn't creepy it was just weird and it was like that man was everybody and she never noticed that he was every fucking body he was every my bitch. So you're not noticing that he looks like the priest and the boy. And he looks like the priest and the little boy and the police officer and the fucking bartender and the dude that rented you the space. Like none of this. He don't you you it's not clicking to you that he that he looks like all of these people. Or was it like were we supposed to be the only people that the only people that noticed that he looked like all of the people? Then when the creepy shit started happening. It was, I, I just kind of felt like she wasn't, she wasn't using her common sense. That That's all I can say. You listening, you're going to let your friend who is not even there with you tell you basically like, you, you deserve, you deserve to be there. Enjoy yourself. Don't let a bunch of creepy ass, scary ass, weird ass events make you want to leave. But she should have left. She should have left. If no other time, she should have left when she saw that motherfucker in the woods. She really should have left when the dude showed up butt the fuck ass naked. And then the cops was like, oh, we let him go because he ain't really gonna do shit. Should have left then. Should have left then. Should have left when she went to the bar and the motherfucker bartender and the cop was both there looking like very much so twinsies. She should have left then. She should have left when the motherfucker hand got cut. He had the motherfucker lobster claw. She should have left then. She had. She should have left when the little boy started tapping into her computer, her phone. And I, she she should have left then. She. It was like the whole movie. I'm like, why you ain't left yet? Why you ain't leave yet? Then when she did try to leave, she was just way too crazy. But the ending, I ain't even gone. I, I, the ending was what got me. The ending was what got me. The whole movie, I was like, what the hell? And in the ending, I was like, so this is just a, a, a weird ass movie. It wasn't like a, I thought that the movie was about a motherfucker who was like a psychopath. And he lived in a town and he and he was like a bunch of different people, but he wasn't supposed to be in the town being a bunch of different people. But he was literally in the town as a bunch of different people, and the people was like, they was all him. So it, it, but what's crazy is the whole movie, all the way to the end, nobody acted like he was the same person. Like, nobody acted like he was the same person. So, I'm like, is it me or is it a conspiracy? Because 
So you you really who would you tell? Because anybody you tell, you telling him. So who would you tell? I think it was like another cop that was there on one of the scenes when they came to get the the, the damn naked man. I said, "Bitch, you you didn't want to leave when when a motherfucker came to your, to your crib with motherfucking flowers, a, a whole damn tree growing out of his face. You ain't want to leave. You ain't want to leave." You ain't want to leave. When, when Leaf Man came, you ain't, ain't want to leave. I got the car, started acting funny and all of that. I get that. But I feel like that's what she get. Because she had ample time to leave and she didn't leave. So I felt like if, if you was to watch any movie, and I, I personally feel like I ain't really giving no spoiler alert because y'all know what part this is actually happening in the movie is so weird and creepy you really can't spoil it because it's so damn weird it's not like a you remember the part when her friend had came to town and then they found out that she was sleeping with her boyfriend so the whole time she was sleeping with the the best friend was sleeping with her boyfriend that's a spoiler alert leafy man that, that's not a spoiler alert. Because you don't know when this motherfucker going to turn into a You don't know. Now, what you do know is everybody going to be the same. But you're going to pick up on that the first five minutes of the goddamn movie. You're going to pick up on that. But I'm like, so when? When the lobster claw popped out, you, you didn't. That didn't. That didn't. The ending. The ending, y'all. The the ending is what is what really got me. That's what really. This my raggly ass shirt my little night shirt the ending is what really got me i said they just they just really making shit up they really truly making shit up so i enjoyed it i mean i, I really did enjoy the movie that movie was right up there for me i feel like the the one movie that really like got me in my feels as an all-time like my first real psychological thriller was split and I recommend that movie to everybody. You trying to get scared? Watch Split. Watch Split. The premise of it is crazy. And I think I'm going to talk about that movie as well. But the premise of it is crazy. That girl. Talk about. My demons. Are bigger than yours. My demons are scarier than yours. That That's, that's really the vibe i got from it it's like you gotta be around a monster to understand a monster and for a monster to understand that you understand monsters that movie was deep it was multiple lessons in that movie but from the girl's perspective that shit was crazy I might do a video about that, but I recommend Split to everybody. I know these some old ass movies, but everybody just say, I still ain't seen Mother. I also haven't seen not one damn episode of Power Bug, and I don't plan on it. Uh, 50 Cent is still gonna be a gazillionaire without me watching it, that's for damn sure. So I'm sure he don't care that I haven't watched it. I couldn't get into it. I couldn't get into it. The end of Power, one thing I can't stand about, I know I'm all over the place, but one thing I cannot stand is when it's a series and my motherfuckers be like this is the last season and then you look at the writing and you be like y'all really don't give a fuck i know i'd be following his fault any type of damn way <laughs> and do would they be following i thought this should have damn dry if i want to get the wrinkles out surely will the ending of the last season of power literally was trash I literally was able to guess what the fuck they was about to say. The plots was crazy. It was just like nobody was trying anymore. Nobody was trying to keep you wondering anymore or any of that. It was just like we we finna we finna be out of a job. So we really don't give a fuck about how this gets spent. We really don't give a fuck about what you think about nothing. I recommend men as a movie to watch for October, and I also would recommend Split. Yeah. Well, I know Hocus Pocus just came out. You know, watch Hocus Pocus as well. I ain't watch it. I might not watch it, but it's whatever. So.